virus replication. Viruses are the obligate intracellular pathogenic microorganisms. They replicate using the machinery of a host cell. The process in turn greatly harms or kills that host cell. The invading virus hijacks the host cell metabolism to generate components of new virions. The duration of replication cycle varies from 6 to 8 hours to more than 40 hours. The application of virus occurs within the 8 distinctive steps. The virus recognizes and binds to the host cell surface receptors to enter the cell. After penetration, the viral genome is uncoated and its DNA or RNA nature determines where and how the genome will replicate. Most of the DNA viruses replicate in the cell nucleus, while the majority of RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm of infected cell. After messenger RNA production, viral proteins are expressed in the cytoplasm. The newly synthesized viral genome and proteins are then assembled into new virions which are released outside the cell. For attachment, virions must come in collision with cells. Adsorption occurs if there is affinity between host cell and the virus. In most viruses, sites specific for attachment are distributed over the virion surface. For example, in influenza and Newcastle disease virus, hemagglutinin spikes are present, which attach to the cells of respiratory epithelium. Penetration followed three different mechanisms for bacteriophages, for non-enveloped animal viruses and for enveloped viruses. The process of attachment in phage takes place to tail fibers of the phage after its collision to the bacterial cell. During penetration, as the cell wall of the bacterium is thick, nucleic acid of the phage is introduced into it through injection mechanism. There is construction of tail of the phage and injection of phage DNA into bacterial cell takes place. There is no injury to the cytoplasmic membrane of bacteria. Penetration leads to the emptying of phage head. Penetration of non-enveloped animal viruses. Most animal viruses carry out penetration through endocytosis. Two following steps. Virus collusion with the cell. Adsorption of virus to host cell. Engulfment of virus particles by host cell through the fine processes, entry of virus inside the cell in phagocytic vacuole, and rupture of phagocytic vacuole by enzyme of the host cell, and release of free nucleic acid. Penetration of enveloped virus, where fusion of lipoprotein envelope to the virus of, mem uh, of the virus to the plasma membrane takes place, and there is direct release of the virus into the host cell cytoplasm. Next is uncoating. This is the process of removal of viral capsid so that nucleic acid is released free into the cell. In pox virus, uncoating is a two-stage process as follows. First stage uncoating is just like other enveloped viruses. There is fusion of envelope and entry of virus into the host cell. After first stage of uncoating, viral nucleic acid is still associated with the core. Virus produces messenger RNA which with the help of host ribosome produce the enzyme responsible for second stage of virus uncoating and nucleic acid is released free. Replication of DNA viruses. A DNA virus is a virus that uses DNA as its genetic material. Usually double-stranded genome except parvoviruses replicate in the nucleus except pox viruses. They replicate using a DNA dependent DNA polymerase. The DNA of the DNA virus is transcribed into mRNA by host cell. The viral messenger RNA is then translated into viral proteins by the host cell and these viral proteins then assemble to form new viral particles. In case of DNA viruses like adeno and herpes virus, the genome double-stranded DNA replicates in the host cell nucleus. It depends on the host cell DNA dependent RNA polymerase. In pox and RC virus, the double-stranded DNA replicates in the cytoplasm, depends on their own DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. In parvo, papova and sarcovirus, the single-stranded DNA genome becomes double-stranded DNA, replicates in the nucleus and depends on host cell DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Replication of RNA viruses 
RNA virus is a virus that uses ribonucleic acid as genetic material. Usually have single stranded RNA except in case of Leo virus and Birna virus and replicates in cytoplasm except influenza virus and retrovirus. Single stranded animal RNA viruses can be placed into different groups depending on their mode of replication. There are two basic types of RNA viruses. Number one are those that copy their RNA to new RNA without a DNA intermediate and number second those that use a DNA intermediate. Type 1 RNA viruses include positive strand RNA viruses, negative strand RNA viruses and double stranded RNA viruses. Type 2 RNA viruses that have a DNA intermediate are the retroviruses. Messenger RNA can be used directly by a positive strand RNA viruses. Negative strand RNA viruses must make a positive strand before they can make protein and so must package their own polymerase. In case of RNA viruses like Picorna, Calisai, Corona, Toga and Flavivirus, the positive sen uh, sense single stranded RNA itself act as a messenger RNA. Hence, transcriptase enzyme is not required. Virus replicates in the cytoplasm. In case of orthomixo, paramixo, repto, bunia and arena virus, the single stranded negative sense RNA replicates in the host cell cytoplasm and carry their own RNA dependent RNA polymerase. In case of Rio and Birna virus, the genome is double stranded RNA. One is positive sense and the second is negative strain. They replicate in the cytoplasm. Transcription occurs from negative sense strain and carry their own double stranded RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Reverse transcribing viruses. Reverse transcribing viruses are viruses that replicates using reverse transcription process. The process involves formation of DNA from an RNA template. Some reverse transcribing viruses have genome made up of single stranded RNA. These viruses use a DNA intermediate to replicate. Others in this group have genomes that have double stranded DNA and these viruses use an RNA intermediate during genome replication. Under this category, it is retroviruses. These use DNA intermediates to replicate. Reverse transcriptase a viral enzyme that codes from the virus itself converts the viral RNA into a complementary strand of DNA, which is copied to produce a double-stranded molecule of viral DNA. This double-stranded viral DNA gets incorporated into host genome and hence called as provirus. On activation, provirus is then transcribed and translated by the host cells machinery and directing the formation of new virions. Transcription involves the synthesis of RNA from DNA. Hence, reverse transcription is the reverse of this process. This is an exception to the central dogma of molecular biology. The positive sense single-stranded RNA that can't serve as messenger RNA gets converted to single-stranded DNA by virus reverse transcriptase. It gets converted to double-stranded DNA and uh, later enters the host cell nucleus, transcribed into messenger RNA by a host cell transcriptase. Second is hepatina virus, which have a double-stranded DNA genome, where one strand is complete and other is partial. It becomes complete closed circular stranded DNA before replication. Next step is transcription and translation. The time between the entry and the production of the structural protein of the virus is known as eclipse period. The regulatory enzymes are produced by the virus which direct the host cell to produce virus specific proteins and nucleic acids. There is shutdown of host cell DNA and host cell protein synthesis, but host ribosomes are not affected because cell has to manufacture virus coded proteins. Biosynthesis phase is further divided into following steps. Transcription of messenger RNA from parenteral viral DNA or RNA. Translation of messenger RNA by host cell ribosome to produce early or regulated proteins which initiates and maintains replication of viral DNA and RNA. Early proteins are also involved in shutdown of host cell metabolism. Replication of viral DNA or RNA continues to produce progeny DNA and RNA. 
which is followed by transcription of messenger RNA from progeny and parent DNA or RNA. Translation of this late messenger RNA leads to the synthesis of structural proteins, that is capsid proteins. Next step is assembly. Viral proteins are packaged with newly replicated viral genome into viral and new virions that are ready for release from the host cell. This process can also be referred to as maturation. Last is the virion release. It can occur through various mechanisms. Number one is viral budding. Typically occurs in enveloped viruses, for example, orthomyxoviruses. Is the process by which a mature virion leaves the host cell. It involves surrounding of nucleocapsid by a part of host membrane to build its envelope as it exists. These types of viruses do not usually kill the infected cell and are termed as cytopathic viruses. Number second is exocytosis. It is another process of virus release that commonly occur in non-enveloped viruses while its movement outside the cell. It involves fusion of the vesicle with the plasma membrane and release of the contents outside the cell. Exocytosis commonly does not kill host cell. And last is lysis. Lysis results in the death of an infected host cell. These type of viruses are referred to as cytolytic, for example, bacteriophages. Thank you for watching.